Hey everybody, been a while. Ooh, piece of candy. <laughs> it's mulberry season. Today we'll be deodorizing the seat in the leather seat in my Forerunner. See, when I bought this thing, it uh, had a smell to it, and I was—I didn't think much of it. I'm like, oh well, smells, big deal. Goes away after some time. But I gotta say, man, it's been like eight, maybe nine months. And that smell is still there. This is, no offense to Italians, but it's like a Guido stank, like someone's really strong cologne, and it's gross. To this day, this forearm still, still smells like some seedy nightclub on the Jersey Shore. Now, washing this thing and covering it in baking soda, cleaning it, it didn't do too much. Leather is very absorptive, and it's porous. It's just really hard to get to. So previously I had actually run an ozone generator off of my car's outlet and basically started the engine, ran the ozone generator for a couple of hours at a time. And although that was good enough to get rid of some of the smells, that cologne in my seat persists, I suspect, because leather just binds itself so strongly or cologne binds itself so strongly to leather so I have to take a more direct approach here but to summarize the ozone generator in the car process basically find a way find a way to plug this thing into something I mean you can roll down a window and then run an extension cord and just put like painters tape over the window turn it on run the car so that you have air circulation going on so the ozone gets everywhere but uh, make sure that you've got recirculation turn on so that it doesn't doesn't just blow the ozone out of the car ozone is toxic to humans so don't be anywhere near the car or inside even a garage when this ozone generator is running and then once you come back to the car to turn it off hold your breath open all the doors and windows and just let it air out for like 10 to 15 minutes ozone tends to linger so it only wind is going to actually blow it away Anywho, here's what I did because my smell persisted in the seats. The kind of attack today is actually going to be using ozone. I'm going to remove the seat, I'm going to stuff it in a bag with an ozone generator, and hopefully that will take care of the smell. And now because this part is hyper-specific to just a Forerunner, I'm going to skip over this part, but I will upload the footage of how to remove the seat out of a 5th Gen Forerunner if you are interested in such a thing. See, ozone is an oxidizing agent three oxygen atoms, one of which, weakly bonded, gives it up rather easily. When it oxidizes, it will add its oxygen atom to any other compound, and that includes a bad smell. So let's say, it's a shit example, I know, but let's say water had a bad smell. H2O, well, we turn it into H2O2, which is hydrogen peroxide, which smells nice. I know it doesn't, but that's the basic idea. Now that I've got it out, the theory of operation it is quite simple. I'm gonna cover, I've already covered it with one bag, I'm gonna cover it with another to, for full coverage. Now I've got my ozone generator here, and I'm gonna stuff it inside, so it's basically gonna be generating ozone inside of this confined space, and my goal is to just fill up the whole space with pure ozone. I mean, this thing you can, you used to be able to buy it for 60 bucks, though with inflation, I don't know, with the US dollar turning into third world bucks or whatever, maybe it's now $6,000. <laughs> Your guess is as good as mine. All right, I'm gonna start somewhat not too bold. Turn that timer to maybe half an hour. Make that 20 minutes and cover this up as best as I can. Now we just let it run. Man, that looks creepy, like I'm suffocating someone in there. While that harebrained idea is going on, let's discuss inherent risks that we should be aware of. Yes, maybe not a good idea to run that thing in a confined space. Maybe it'll overheat, maybe it won't. That's why I'll run it in short bursts and just monitor it. I'm not just gonna walk away and allow it to catch fire if that's a risk. Equally important is doing this outside. Ozone is toxic and poisonous and will f you up so you don't want to breathe this stuff do it outside the home and obviously when we will come back here to open this thing up yes it's gonna be filled with ozone so therefore I'm gonna hold my breath while I open the bag so I can 
air the ozone out, and only then will I breathe in again. Also, while that's happening, uh, state the obvious. Yes, I have already tried running the ozone generator inside the car. Did it several times for several hours at a time, and I must say that smell is still persistent, so I don't know if it's maybe the concentration of this crap that it's maybe the concentration of the ozone that was insufficient. I'm not really sure. I am, of course, an efficient man, so great opportunity to vacuum this thing. It's a little better, but shucks, you know, I'm feeling mighty generous today. So today, I'm also going to use my upholstery cleaner for the first time. Let's see how that works out for me. Damn, boy! That's a pretty nice result. Alrighty, been a couple of hours and been cleaning all the upholstery, so let's see what we got here and also <clears throat> hold my breath. Alright, so I aired it out. Let's do a bit of a sniff test. This is where the cologne was very strong now. I can barely detect it. Perhaps it worked. But yeah, bottom line, do it as long as you need to until you're fairly confident that the smell is gone. And of course, let it air out for like at least two minutes each time because ozone is hefty. Heavy. It's heavy, it tends to linger. And now, as any mind with at least an, oh, 500 IQ would inquire, did this actually work? I'll check back with this car tomorrow. Drock, excuse me. <laughs> Forerunner Legion, I can hear them running after me already. I'll come back tomorrow on a hot sun. Car should be super, super hot inside. That's when the smells really come out and I'll be able to tell, hey, did, was all this worth it? We'll find out. Moment of truth. It's a hot, hot sun. Ah, oh, it's, it's a lot better. I can barely perceive it. Like, here is where the cologne is most persistent. I suspect maybe it was like the back of the dude's neck or whoever was sitting here, but even this, this up close, I can barely register it. But usually I would open the door and I would just get blast, like Jersey Shore blasting me in the face. So that's gone now. So that worked. I'm quite happy about that. Um, I think I'm also going to replace the cabin air filter because some of that cologne-ness has passed through that filter many many times so that needs to go as well. But that's the basic idea. In order to deodorize a car, ozone helps a lot. Ozone, because it's a gas, it'll get everywhere where you normally wouldn't be able to get to with a brush or a cleaner. Things like a upholstery cleaner can help a lot too in places that you can reach. And I think this would work for all kinds of smells. Cigarettes, colognes, anything else, food. Right now the cabin just mostly smells like leather and that's, that's, that, that's a pleasant smell. I can live with that. Anyway, hope this helps. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.